Today in Crypto The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, does not want to approve the listing of leveraged Bitcoin exchange-traded funds, ETFs. The announcement comes two days after Valkyrie Investments filed with the SEC to allow the firm to offer a 1,25x leveraged Bitcoin futures ETF. As a result, the SEC has instructed at least one asset management firm not to proceed with its plans for leverage funds. It appears that the regulator wants to limit Bitcoin-related investment machines to funds that offer unleveraged exposure products that are not comprised of borrowed funds. In other words, the agency wants to restrict crypto investors to invest in products by offering unleveraged exposures like the ProShares Bitcoin ETF. ProShares which started trading the first-ever U.S. Bitcoin ETF last week on Tuesday, October 19, does not directly hold or invest in actual Bitcoin but invests in Bitcoin futures contracts. After Valkyrie launched its Bitcoin futures-backed ETF last Friday, October 22, the investment firm sent another application to the SEC for a leveraged Bitcoin futures ETF that offers 1,25x exposure to the Bitcoin reference rate. This implies that Valkyrie's proposed fund wants to enhance daily returns of a portfolio of Bitcoin futures for U.S. investors by using 1,25 times leverage or borrowed money. The SEC has declined to approve such a request. And as a result of a response by asking Valkyrie to withdraw its application, it filed on Tuesday, October 26. Valkyrie's proposed fund is aimed at investors with higher risk tolerance, providing Bitcoin futures with 1,25x leverage. However, such a tough decision by the SEC will not affect Valkyrie's unleveraged Bitcoin futures ETF, which started trading last week on Friday. October 22. It is unclear whether Valkyrie will continue pursuing approval of its leveraged Bitcoin futures ETF. In the past, many investment firms have repeatedly tried to gain SEC's approval for their proposed ETFs. Concerns over leveraged exchange traded funds The move by the SEC shows another regulatory opposition to innovative products that asset management firms in the nascent cryptocurrency industry face. As reported by Blockchain.News. The SEC has hesitated to allow offerings that it believes might be vulnerable to manipulation, fraud, and other risks. On October 4, SEC Chairman Gary Gensler stated that leveraged exchange-traded funds, much moved by retail investors, could pose a systematic threat to the financial system. Gensler instructed SEC staff to study the universe of risky exchange-traded products and consider regulations to protect individual investors during that time. The SEC boss warned that such products are popularly known as complex ETPs can pose risks to individual investors and even sophisticated investors and potentially create system-wide risks by operating in unanticipated ways when markets experience stress conditions or volatility. Volatility. Gensler was referring to inverse ETFs that mimic the opposite of an asset's performance or leveraged funds that multiply gains or losses. The owners of one of Turkey's biggest crypto exchanges have established a securities brokerage. This comes after the country's currency saw its worst performer in emerging markets in 2021 with a loss of about 22% against the dollar. Istanbul-based BTC Turk will now offer its millions of clients new options to satisfy their trading niche. Half a year ago, BTC Turk survived a major crisis when two local cryptocurrency exchanges crumbled within the space of a few days. Following the crisis, it now wants to parlay demand for digital assets into new areas like stocks. According to BTC Turk Chief Executive Officer Roz Gergnery, the reasons pertaining to the growth of cryptocurrencies in Turkey could be the decline in the lira and spiraling inflation which has sapped the value of their savings. The country's market regulator has approved the establishment of elliptic Yatırım and Kaldijer Laraz, owned by crypto technology firm Librium, a sister company of BTC Turk. The firm promises to provide capital market access for more than 4 million of its users. Furthermore, it plans to offer trading in major stocks on Borsa Istanbul and Nasdaq. Elliptic won't employ any sales staff, nor it will provide research, Gnuri said. We believe in self-service finance. We won't call anyone to market this or that idea, but will be within fingertip reach when clients want to trade. According to the data provided by the website 21million.com, 
BTC Turk had a daily trading volume of 16,6 billion liras, $1,7 billion. Over the past 24 hours, Pribu, which competes with BTC Turk, ranked second with 9,11 billion liras. Aloptic plans to start its services in the first quarter of 2022, pending another approval for an operating license. European-based cryptocurrency trading platform Bitpanda has hired a former executive at JP Morgan to lead a division in the leading platform, Bitpanda Pro, a platform targeting to fulfill the needs of experienced traders and institutional investors. Bitpanda, a cryptocurrency trading platform based in Vienna, Austria, announced on Thursday, October 28, that it named JP Morgan executive Joshua Baraclau as the chief executive officer of its fully regulated digital assets exchange Bitpanda Pro. Before Baraclau moved to the crypto sector, he served as the global head of the fintech team at JP Morgan. He served as co head of digital innovation at the investment bank, responsible for creating new products and businesses. He talked about his departure from JP Morgan to join Bitpanda saying that the move was an easy decision. He mentioned, the crypto ecosystem is the most exciting part of that right now, with an incredible pace of change and growth and adoption. We want further to bridge the gap between digital assets and traditional finance, building on my prior experience. Baraclau will now lead Bitpanda Pro, which targets experienced traders, professionals, and institutions. According to a press statement, the platform has witnessed average daily trading volume rise four times in the first half of 2012. Bitpanda allows retail investors to invest in various products, including cryptocurrency, stocks, precious metals, among others. Bitpanda Pro, an advanced and European Union-wide regulated version of the main platform, is yet to add digitized versions of precious metals like gold, platinum and silver as part of its portfolio on its trading platform. Baraclau said that the exchange is actively looking at offering even more traditional assets other than gold and silver, using blockchain technology and tokenization to facilitate this. Baraclau acknowledged that cryptocurrency is getting traction as the first investment asset for younger digital natives and acts as a gateway to further financial education building wealth through a diversified portfolio. He further talked about the rising adoption of cryptocurrencies and the inflow of new institutional funds. He stated, This wave of institutional investment, unaffected by many of the regulatory worries of the last bull run, has proven the viability of Bitcoin BTC, as a secure store of value and inflation hedge. Baraclau is the latest in a series of high-profile hires for the rapidly growing Fintech firm. Last month, Bitpanda hired Irina Scarlett, a former Revolut executive, as its chief growth officer. In August, Bitpanda hired former regulator Matthias Bauer Langartner as its managing director in Ireland and the UK. In August, Bitpanda achieved unicorn status after raising $263 million in Avalar Ventures led Series C round, funding that brought its total valuation to $4,1 billion. Ether soared to a record above $4,400 Friday, gaining as much as 3.5% to $4,403.93, topping the previous record of $4,379.62 reached in May. According to data from CoinGecko.com, Ether is now worth about $520 billion. The digital asset went up on bullish sentiment surrounding an upgrade to the Ethereum network and rival Bitcoin's recent rally to a high of its own. The second largest cryptocurrency's latest achievement comes as the digital token has far outperformed Bitcoin throughout this year. Ether beat Bitcoin with a six-fold increase amid surging retail and institutional investor interest. Following the debut of the first Bitcoin-linked exchange-traded fund in the U.S., the cryptocurrency rose some 40% this month to peak a record of almost $67,000. Other smaller tokens, including Binance Coin and Solana, rallied. Ether underpins the affiliated Ethereum network, the dominant blockchain used for thousands of decentralized applications. Earlier this week, the system got a further boost after an upgrade designed to make it faster and more energy efficient. Also, 
Ethereum's demand for smart contracts continued to top the charts this week. Smart contracts are self-executing agreements based on blockchain technology that decreases the demand for centralized intermediates. They have been in high demand in booming sectors like decentralized finance, DeFi, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Ethereum has emerged as the sought-after network. On the other hand, the foundation of DeFi is established on blockchain-based smart contracts that fulfill certain financial functions based on the underlying code. Amber Group, a leading crypto trading and technology firm, announced today a strategic partnership with the climate tech company Moss Earth, the first and largest environmental platform in the world to tokenize carbon credits, as per the agreement. Amber Group bought 250,000 carbon tons offsets worth of MCO2 tokens, approximately enough to offset the cost of more than 280,000 BTC transactions. Climate change is the central issue of our times. Joining forces with Moss Earth will constitute a major pillar of our carbon-neutral business impact ambition and a path towards a long-term carbon-negative pledge which we will be announcing soon, remarked Michael Wu founder and CEO of Amber Group. We will be working towards offsetting our carbon footprint, toward providing options for our users to act upon this commitment and eventually acting to remove carbon emitted since Amber Group commenced activities in 2017. As a crucial step towards fulfilling this pledge, Amber Group is therefore announcing its initiative to offer carbon offsetting options to its users through which everyone will have the opportunity to offset the carbon footprint associated with their transactions by purchasing Mach 2 tokens, Moss's tokenized carbon offsets. Launched by Moss in March 2020, MCO2 is equivalent to one carbon credit, a digital asset that certifies the prevention of one ton of carbon dioxide from being emitted into the atmosphere. Through the certification process and the minting of MCO2 tokens, funds are sent to conservation projects in the Amazon. We are very excited that such a reputable fintech unicorn such as Amber Group has embraced the battle against climate change, and honored that Amber Group chose to do it via endorsement of the MCO2. We believe that adding liquidity to this transparent way of offsetting carbon emissions is key for it to become easy and for us to add the habit to our daily routine, says Luis Adame founder and CEO of Moss. The world confronts a major emergency. Businesses have to take responsibility and assist their stakeholders in contributing towards humanity's common goals. As a rapidly growing global fintech unicorn, it is our obligation to take a leading role in combating climate change and empower our users to contribute towards these lofty, yet non-negotiable aims added Michael Wu. Amber Group is one of the world's leading crypto finance service providers, operating globally with 12 offices on three continents. To date, Amber Group has raised a total of $128 million in funding from the world's best investors including Tiger Global Management, DCM Ventures, Paradigm, Pantera Capital, Coinbase Ventures, Blockchain.com, Polychain Capital, Dragonfly Capital, and Fenbush Heat Capital. Moss is a climate tech company focused on environmental services with global operations. In 2020, it created the first carbon credit backed token used to offset greenhouse gases. In its one year of existence, Moss and its customers have sent more than 15 million US dollars to the Amazon which has helped to preserve approximately 500 million trees. The MCO2 token is already listed on platforms such as Mercado Bitcoin and Flow BTC as well as globally on ProBit, Uniswap, and Gemini. A carbon credit is a digital certificate that is equivalent to avoiding the emission of one ton of CO2 in a given year through forest conservation, clean energy, and biomass projects, among others. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.